Uh, my name's Koi, I like the koi fish. I am a rising junior at Stanford University. I'm studying an individually designed major called Immersive Design and Engineering Applications, also known as IDEAS. <laughs> I did, it was a, one of my greatest shower thoughts. <laughs> when I read Ready Player One, that book is what made me interested in virtual reality. We've kind of been constrained by what's material, like what exists in our world. And with VR and AR, suddenly you can break physics, you can have digital objects that are floating in the sky against gravity because you write the rules uh, in these uh, mirror worlds. If we can live in a metaverse that we design, that's ideal, that's clean, um, that where we don't have to drive an hour to go to work, but we can just teleport places, uh, where we don't have to capture endangered animals and put them in zoos, we can just see digital animals. And um, I think that is like the crazy ultimate potential of VR. So I took this class last quarter where our assignment was to get rejected five times in a week. I went to Subway and I asked the guy behind the bar to carve my name into the sandwich. And he like looks at his associate and looks back at me and he just says, I guess there's a first time for everything. And he carves my name into the sandwich. I started feeling really comfortable being like, oh, well, the guy behind the bar is just another human who's trying to help me out. And I'm not asking that much of him. So uh, I felt really comfortable asking more uh, in my day to day life. So I'm a former League of Legends addict. Uh, I still play sometimes. Uh, it's still my favorite game. Game design is the ultimate design for incentivizing behavior. Every interaction in a game is, is, is delightful and fun and full of colors. And I think that this really translates a lot to my work when I design software and products. So when I was growing up, I went to see Cirque du Soleil with my family and I thought this is the pinnacle of human performance. It was so entertaining but also so touching and beautiful and I thought that that was what I wanted to do. I went to like a clown camp, a clown summer camp for kids. Uh, I learned to juggle and walk on a tightrope and ride a unicycle. And it was just so hard when everybody else around me was like doing really well in school and, and wanting to be doctors and place playing soccer to, to really find an opportunity to even like do any like circus related things. The dream is to go back and be a, an engineer for Cirque du Soleil. My dad was an entrepreneur in the dot-com boom. My mom was also an entrepreneur. <laughs> so I uh, have this really kind of need to create and make things of value for other people.